We're cycling along the Rodwell Trail in Weymouth and we've had a nice picnic lunch at Sandsfoot Castle and now we've had our lunch and just going a bit further along the cycleway and we get into this place where the torpedo factory used to be uh, and Whitehead Drive um, I've done a video about it before it just happens there's a big ship out there um, you know it makes you think about the tragedy of uh, war and torpedoes and things like that and then there were people having fun with uh, uh, sailboards and also with uh, kites on their sailboards um, which was very nice and the um, kites very picturesque actually and you could do some meditation music with that and make a nice video for another time perhaps anyway we got uh, to the end of the Rodwell Trail which is about at the beginning of the causeway over to Portland and the path starts on the left hand side and then you have to cross over the road to the other side which is the Chesil Beach side it's a good path of course it's nice and flat there and on the right hand side you can see the Chesil Beach which has uh, developed and cut off a piece of sea which is known as the fleet as brackish water um, the bank of stones that the, the wind and tides have thrown up on Chesil Beach is, makes the boating area over at Portland quite sheltered and in 2012 they developed it all for the Olympics and now it's a great water facility for outdoor pursuits and young people uh, here's some people starting out well you've got to start somewhere haven't you it was a lovely day out on Portland and young people were doing all sorts of things um, there was a type of sort of standing up on a surfboard with a paddle which I didn't film and they were racing and that was more for teenagers and then we a bit later on we went on to the castle at Portland. Anyway, very nice day. Right, bye for now.